Hello guys, welcome to my living room. Yes, I told you guys some weeks ago that I started renovating my house and it has been a lot of work but I'm really excited to show you guys the first completed space in my house and that is my personal living room okay it is for me alone I don't just allow anybody to enter this space because I don't want to hear stories I don't really want to spoil anything here anyway let me take you guys on a tour around this space and I'll show you guys the before footage and you know what it looks like right now okay <laughs> Okay, so this part was supposed to be in our main entrance entryway but I decided to bring it up here because it's quite small and our entryway is quite big, okay? So this is an entryway of sorts even though this is upstairs. The first thing I'm excited to show you guys is this table. Someone made this table for me. I actually did not buy it like this. The name of her business is Yuli Interiors. So I've talked about her several times in my videos. I'm sure you guys have heard about her before. But yeah, she made this table for me. I just told her what I wanted. I wanted natural wood and she was able to get it for me and you know, made this table to my specifications, okay? Perfect, I love it. And then I also got this mirror that has a gold rim. Funny enough, when I started trying to shop for decoration and stuff, I was angry at the number of gold things I was finding in the market. It seems as if Nigerian people like gold too much. So gold was everywhere. But now that I finished assembling the whole of this place, I'm now seeing that I actually incorporated more gold than I thought I would, okay? But yeah, I was supposed to go for black initially, but I thought against it because of this wall. I wanted something that would not stand out too much, okay? So I had to just go for gold because this wall, oh, first of all, this wall was actually a different color before, but I painted it this color. It's called Sierra. Like if you go to Dulux Paints and ask them for Sierra, that's what this color is. It's a grayish pink or grayish purple. So I decided to just paint this wall this color because it's like, you know, an accent wall. I didn't want to just have all white everywhere because all white can be boring if you're not careful. I'll let you guys know where to get everything I point out in my description box, okay? So if you're curious to know where I got anything from, just check my description box. I'm going to leave you know, the name of the place I got it from or just tell you where I got it from anyway. Okay, so normally when I'm choosing stuff for decoration, I usually gravitate towards white, but I was careful not to go too white with this house, okay? So even though I got this vase, I like this vase because is white but another reason why i really like it is because it actually is not plain white okay so it has some detailing on it and funny fun fact this detailing actually matches the wall like it's the same color okay and this vase was actually two in one but somebody in this house broke the second one okay it was supposed to be two there's a smaller one the same type of vase but the second one broke but this one is okay and then i got these flowers and they actually come with a fragrance you know so yeah they smell nice even though i'm not particularly a fan of the smell but i'm sure they smell nice to most people but me in particular i don't really like the smell but i like the look of the flowers i like the colors and i like the fact that it's actually natural dry plant okay then yeah this decor tray i like it it's actually a tree stump design so on top of it i just have my candle my diffuser and this scent burner and then I have this frame. You guys, I got this frame when I got married. Like someone gave me this frame on my wedding day as my wedding gift. And I've had it since then. And I actually love it. I got this basket from Wicker Basket on Instagram. I just kept it under this table so I can put my throw blanket inside it. So I have this large blanket I also got from somebody on Instagram. Then now to the main living room. I got this couch from some couch makers at mile four 
I don't know if I'll put the guy's number out because I don't know. I'm not sure I'll put the guy's number. <laughs> but yeah, it's the same person that made these chairs as well. I just showed him what I wanted and he made the chairs and the couch. Initially, I couldn't, I couldn't decide on the color of couch to go for. Normally, I like gray, but I didn't really want to go for gray. But after so much back and forth in trying to choose colors, I ended up in, you know, what is safe for me, which is gray. That's why I chose a gray couch. And, you know, I just tried to get through pillows that match the color scheme somehow. Because in this parlor, I think I have quite a number of blue things as well. That's why I got blue throw pillows as well as gray and white throw pillow and as well as this um, beige throw pillow, okay? Then this place used to be just plain wooden color that was painted white. I had to cover it with this wallpaper. This wallpaper has like concrete design. So I went for it because again, the color scheme matches the living room. It's gray, white, and a little bit of beige or will I call it gold no it's more like beige right so that was why I chose it and it just blends even though it's not very plain it's not too busy like it's not distracting when you look at it before we used to have curtains here curtains that match the curtains in the background that you guys can see there but I decided to remove curtains from this space because first of all when my kids were you know actively spending time here they used to play around the curtains and you know the curtains did not look too good and also because this isn't a very large space i feel like the curtains were you know weighing the whole place down it was just looking too small and somehow so i decided to go for blinds because blinds are more sleek you know easy to just get out of the way easy to roll up and roll down like i'm not looking for how to tie it so it will look nice like just roll it up or roll it down and we're good to go okay these we are supposed to be white blinds but for some reason i don't know if it is a lack of communication or miscommunication or that's just what happened but it ended up being this looks like silver okay and the guy showed me before he made it in the paper where he showed me the blinds it looked white but when the end products came it looked silver but i'm not really mad at it like it's 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 not too bad okay um yeah it works and then I also love these plants. You guys, I love this eucalyptus plant. I try to go for plants that look very realistic, even though they are not real, okay? I also got this planter. You guys know these planters, they're very popular. I just got it to, you know, elevate the look. And then these chairs. Now, these chairs, we are actually supposed to have wooden arms, okay? Like the, the wooden part was supposed to be looking wooden. After the guy was done making it, I told him, okay, I want it to be wooden, like just leave it the way it is. The guy was telling me that no, that the thing doesn't really look good when it's like that, that he can just spray it with one color that will not change the color. So I was thinking that he was just going to polish the wood so that it won't change the color, but you know, it will look nice. I didn't know that the guy was, was going to change, like this is car paint, so he just changed it to... <sighs> it's annoying but it's not bad like when you see it it's not bad it's just me that knew what i wanted okay because i know what i wanted that is why it annoys me when i look at it but if you just look at it it's not actually not bad so yeah i tried to go for a three-seater and then these two accent chairs because again i wanted more space this parlor is not a very big space and everywhere will look light and airy okay and i actually like these chairs because they're very comfortable for relaxing for reading okay i got the side tables from somebody on instagram okay i'll leave the person's handle again in the description box but i like them again just white and gold um very sleek design it's not taking up so much space then this rug now after i bought this rug i actually did not like it okay because again it is black gold beige and gray or cream and gray so when i bought it and i laid it here i didn't really like it i felt like it was looking too busy but after my kids stained this once i was like thank god i went for this imagine if i had gone for the cream rug i wanted to go for it before but now i've been very very angry okay so after they stained this one time i was like ah thank you jesus that i bought a rug like this that actually hides stains even though yes i tried to clean it but it doesn't you know the stains don't show that much okay so the next thing that i have in this space that i really love is this lamp that i got from amazon okay i love this lamp so much i love it because of how sleek it is again it is in gold i don't know how i ended up with gold even though my my main aim when i was looking for things was 
to not get gold but i don't know how i ended up with gold but i actually like it it looks very bougie it looks very expensive it's not that expensive or at least it's not as expensive as it looks but it's really nice and i like the fact that it's dimmable so with the top of this button here you can increase the light and you can also reduce it okay so and you can change it to either face you like this or face here or face here or even face up like you can rotate the head round like i i love it so much you can also you know turn it this way or turn it that way perfect then i have my fan here like i can't do without fan i wish i could remove this fan because it kind of doesn't work with my aesthetics but i bet we need fan in fact i feel like i wish i can put on the fan now because i'm actually sweating but because of the audio that's why the fan is off okay so the next thing is this tv stand i like it it's very sleek it's very nice it's just white doesn't really obstruct much in terms of the look it just looks nice then it has this light here it also has light around it so let me show you guys if i put it on but i don't really put it on to be honest that thing is just for fancy because i don't see the use i don't put it on like <laughs> waste of energy but it's just there for you know aesthetics purposes okay but yeah that's it for the tv stand so on top of this tv stand here i have this tray as well i think i got all these trays from the same person i think yes i got all these trays from the same person so in here i have this um lavender plant is artificial but it looks kind of real and i don't know if it's lavender that right? they call it too, but that's the color anyway and then this salted butterscotch um candle from white barn i love it ah oh, like this thing smells so good like it actually smells like salted butterscotch and i also have this picture here family picture just you know so that we'll have a touch of family in here when i wanted to buy i was looking for something that says blessed or blessing or bless but the one that, that said blessed was very expensive and very big <laughs> i wasn't going to work for this space so i ended up going for this one that says dream then this flower vase here um yeah i love this flower vase so much again it's something blue um like my tropilo i love it it's very nice very it's not a common design okay at least to me I don't, i've not really seen it everywhere okay like some flower vases that I, I usually see you know those round flower like donuts looking flower vases they are so popular now so i just try to stay away from them and i got this one that i like so much and i like that it's not just plain white okay or cream or gold or whatever i love the color then this plant inside here i got this plant on aliexpress like two years ago or something and i never really used it so now i found a place for it so under here we have the decoder so that you know if i want to use if i want to watch you know cable tv or whatever i can still operate it without it being somewhere on top like i didn't want it on top so my husband was like let's just put it under you know so we can still operate the tv and watch what we want to watch but it is not obstructing anything like you can't you can see it just by looking at the tv console okay yeah i was very intentional with you know the placement of stuff around this space again this is not a very big space so if you're not careful you're going to make this place look very crowded and if you really think about it i have a lot inside this space it's a small space and i have a lot inside here but it doesn't feel crowded you know it doesn't feel like it's cluttered and stuff like that like everything has a place and you know the design of everything is quite sleek so it's not really blocking space okay but yeah that's it that is my personal living room i love this space so much like i'm very very anal when it comes to this space so like if you if a tropilo is out of place i'm like eh, put it back put it back <laughs> i'm sure my kids are tired of me the other day cora was saying that you have to tiptoe around the parlor because of mommy or something i can't remember how she said it whether you have to work with your head and work with your hands so that you will not spoil anything and i was like yes i'm glad that you know because i have enabled you guys for so long i've allowed you guys play anyhow um, but yeah, my kids still come here. They still watch TV here, but now they have their own personal Playroom I'm going to show you guys that playroom in a different video like I love their playroom so much But yeah, because they have a personal playroom They are able to stay away from this place which is which used to be their playroom essentially They are able to stay away from this space. They only come here to watch TV once in a while when I'm also here most times but for the most part nobody comes here and i like it that way okay it is 
just kept for me the way I want it when I want it. And that's it, yeah. So let me know if you guys like this space. Let me know, you know, if there's any piece or anything in particular that you like in this space. Again, like I said, I'm going to leave a link, not link, but I'm going to just tell you guys where I got everything in this living room from. So just, you know, check the description box if there's anything you want to buy or anything you like here and you want to know who I got it from. It rates my, my work on a scale of 10 to 10 because I know that I'm, I'm all that. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.